the interception, can you walk us through that play, what you saw? Um, just really uh, keying in on their splits. Um, we saw a bunch of times in the first half, um, number, I think it was number 10, and he was pretty close to this number two receiver. And I just, I just knew it was coming. It was just made a play. Yeah, film study. Front row right, Tim? Yeah, there are a couple. Number one, how determined were you to make a play there? You look like you jumped it with gusto. Um, I mean, really, just I read it and just went and made a play. Um, knew we needed something. Uh, just tried to make something happen. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. I mean, did, was there a sense that uh, that had to happen in this game um, to kind of get some distance? I mean, doing my job, I guess. But uh, defense, you know, once again, I mean, when the offense takes a minute to get the rhythm, uh, we know we just go out there, have fun, do our job, and stop them. Front row left over there, Austin. Darren, you guys seem kind of irritated throughout the week that people questioned what happened last Saturday, and it was 38 to nothing. I mean, it, that's going to probably happen again now in a 20 to 13 game. What was the mindset for you guys in the locker room? Are you disappointed with this today? You just happy to win? Uh, um, we're happy to win. Uh, I don't really know. I mean, it's not really we're not really blaring music down there right now. Um, you know, as a team, you know, we want to be going on all cylinders. Uh, so we'll just uh, get things corrected and get better for next week. Okay, and then final question in this setup over here to the left, Doug. Darren, do you feel like you guys are the number one team in the country right now? Uh, I don't really want to speak on that, but I know we got a lot of work to do. Okay. Go ahead, Clay. One last question. Wait, their quarterback, what, how good did you think he was? In his I mean, honestly, that's a heck of a football team. I mean, that felt more like a Big Ten team, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, their quarterback, you know, he made plays for him. Uh, and I tip that, we tip our hat to them. I mean, they played a heck of a ball game on um, both sides of the ball. Um, the, the quarterback made plays for them. They had a couple other guys make plays for them. They came in here ready to play. And, uh, you know, that's a heck of a football team. And we're just glad to get a W. We still have work to do. Um, we still got some things we got to go tweak. A lot of assignments, um, a couple missed tackles here and there, especially by me uh, on assignments. So uh, I'm going to do my best to correct that. And there's a couple other guys. We're going to do our thing to uh, get things fixed. Um, we're not perfect defense. Um, and our goal is to be the number one defense in the nation, but uh, we still got a ways to go for that. So many guys making plays, Hubbard, Dolphus. I mean, how good is this defense? I mean, I feel I told you before, I mean, there's, there's guys, there's a lot of young guys who can make plays. I mean, Sam Hubbard played a heck of a game. Taekwon, I mean, it's so happy. It's, it's so good to see him shine and to go see him make plays and stuff because I know he's been waiting his turn. And just to see that happen is, is fulfilling. And, um, you know, we're going to continue to enhance what we do and get better and just go out and make more plays for, for days like this. <laughs> is it frustrating at all to play a full four quarters in a game like this as opposed to you know, resting or cycling no, guys like I mean, Dante? Or... No, I mean, we, I mean, I don't, I will never complain about going out and helping my team win a game. Um, and that's, I mean, people are playing, they would come out and blow this team out. Well, that's a really, that's a really good football team. Um, and I think a lot of people, I don't want people to overshadow that, but that's a heck of a team. Tip my cap to them. Um, they're going to win a lot of football games.